Welcome to the land of the rising sun, where the vibrant culture, ancient traditions, and modern technology collide into a stunningly beautiful and unique experience. From the bustling metropolis of Tokyo to the serene temples of Kyoto, Japan is a country that will leave you in awe. Explore the neon lit streets of Shinjuku, <laughs> indulge in some mouth watering street food, and immerse yourself in the vibrant nightlife. Take a ride on the busiest train station in the world, witness the iconic cherry blossoms, and relax in a ryokan. Discover the history and culture of Japan as you visit the ancient temples of Nara, the stunning Osaka Castle, and the peaceful gardens of Kyoto. In this series of videos, join me, my mom and brother, in exploring Japan and Korea for 24 days during the Sakura season. Hi everyone, today we are going to be exploring Shinjuku Imperial Garden all the way to Asakusa and while we're walking around, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite spots. Let's go! So we started early in Shinjuku Imperial Garden. If you are in Japan during the Sakura season, you should definitely not miss visiting Shinjuku Gyoen garden because you have different kinds of species of uh, sakura you have uh, early blooming jar blossoms you have uh, the the usual some yoshino cherries and the late blooming uh, yai sakuras so let's say you run out of plane tickets to book you, there's no available flights to visit japan uh, during the uh, sakura season it's okay if you're a few uh, if you're a couple of weeks late because uh, you can still see the late blooming cherry blossoms all over japan not just in shinjuku Gyoen uh, garden after walking around and exploring the garden we're gonna go to Asakusa we're gonna take the train it's also a good idea to to have breakfast here because they have a Starbucks and Starbucks is uh, you have a nice view of of the garden from the Starbucks but the problem is there's a lot of people so good luck with that after the Shinjuku Gyoen uh, uh, shenanigans we're gonna go to Asakusa don't do what this girl is doing she is lugging large luggage on the stairs during the sakura season they also have a, a light up uh, events where they they use different colored lights to light all the cherry blossoms and the trees inside shinjuku Gyoen, and we're gonna do that later tonight and um after shinjuku Gyoen garden we're gonna go to asakusa there's this girl i saw lugging large luggage if you have luggage and you need transport around japan it's better to use airport buses because they have a large storage underneath the bus and uh, they would usually drop you off on the main road you don't need to carry your luggage on the stairs if you want to avoid carrying your luggage on the stairs in the subway take the airport bus or the taxi but the airport bus is so much cheaper so it's much better and it's actually more roomy so the goal is to start our day in Asakusa in Asahi Skyroom it's in the 22nd floor of these of uh, the Asahi building but it was closed when we went there somebody booked the whole the whole place so I don't know what happened so we decided to stop by the riverside which is also not bad because you can see everything much clearer because in the Sky Skyrim you're gonna see ants everyone's gonna be like ants but here you can see what the flowers look like and you get to enjoy this Brazilian uh, riverside restaurant where you have where you can try Brazilian food and it's kind of similar they, they have something similar with japan brazil and japan were both they both have history with port with the portuguese so you'd you'd find a little bit of a portuguese uh, influence in the cuisine like the tempura tempura was a portuguese influence and you also have croquettes in brazil and you, you're gonna see a lot of croquettes in japan as well After eating, you can definitely walk to the north 
of uh, the Sumida River. This is Sumida River, and this is uh, the, the statue of uh, Katsu Kashu right now. Katsu Kashu is a uh, is a uh, Katsu Kaishu. Katsu Kaishu is a uh, a peacemaker. He is a uh, uh, somewhat of a low-ranking samurai who was uh, in the Edo Castle during the siege of Edo, and uh, he brokered a peace uh, treaty with the uh, uh, what do you call this the imperial loyalists uh, during the siege of Edo Castle and because of that uh, bloodshed was uh, avoided so a lot of uh, people treat Katsu Kaishu as some kind of a hero we are gonna keep walking north of the river and to the right you're gonna see a Park. It's part of Sumida Park and it's a great place for you to do hanami to have picnics and in here you have several um, shrines or temples that you can see and uh, visit but uh, we're gonna walk past them because there's gonna be a lot of walking involved today and our target is coming is a uh, is a Chomeji Sakuramochi. It's been, it's been there for 300 years, and we really want to try a Sakuramochi a recipe that has been there that was unchanged for 300 years. Sumida River. This is Sumida River to the right. I mean, to the left. That we have the Sumida River to the left, and uh, Sumida Park from the left and right banks of the river and it's popular for hanami because the tokugawa shogunate ordered to plant hundreds of cherry blossom trees and um, if you look right now that we have a 24-hour toilet right in front of us so if you need to use the bathroom it's right here in front of the if the in front of the um uh, Sumida River right in front of Tokyo Sky Tree and this is our destination Chomeji Sakuramochi it's been here since 1717 and uh, a lot of uh, historical people also lived around this area like Matsus oh, what's his name what is his name like Masaoka Shiki Masaoka Shiki is uh, if you love haiku poems Masaoka Shiki is uh, uh, a popular uh, poet, a haiku poet. He composed around 20,000 haiku poems. So this is inside Chomeji Sakuramochi. It's kind of uh, modern, but it's also very traditional. You have uh, um, really nice uh, ukiyo-e. You have very nice ukiyo-e ukiyo or woodblock prints on the wall. And it's it, it's a uh, this this two girls right here they were eating sakuramochi so that's probably by the riverbank right in front of uh, chomeji sakuramochi because they've been there since 1717 and right behind Ch uh, chomeji sakuramochi is chomeji temple it's also popular for artists because uh, the goddess of the arts music uh, fortune wealth is enshrined in chomeji temple right behind chomeji sakuramochi and right in front of Chomeji Sakuramochi, uh, if you just cross the river, uh, not the river, <laughs> if you just cross the street, you'd end up right by the river and you'd see some of these uh, uh, geishas. Uh, a, a little thing to note is other than Osaka, other than uh, Kyoto, you also have uh, uh, Asakusa as the center for. Uh, geishas i'm not sure if these are real geishas because there's a lot of uh, uh, makeup shops that offer tourists uh, for uh, geisha makeover so it's really hard to tell sometimes if i'm in kyoto it's hard to tell if this person in front of me is a real geisha or a tourist dressed and uh, uh, in geisha attire even makeup so we crossed the street, the Sakura Bridge, what is it called? Sakurabashi, 
Sa we crossed Sakurabashi Bridge all the way to Asakusa, but before we did that, we stopped by Suzukian. Suzukian is uh, a place where you can have the strongest matcha ice cream in the world. Um, but for you to get there, you need to get a time uh, timed entry ticket. So after yeah. that, we went to uh, Asakusa for some treats. Asakusa Menchi, we stopped by Asakusa Menchi, it's been there forever. The first time I was there was a few, maybe 10 years ago, and Asakusa Menchi around that time was 100 yen, and now I think it's 350 yen. And in front of Asakusa Menchi, you have this uh, Taiwanese chicken katsu place, it's really flavorful as well, it's definitely a good stop. And we also stopped by this ramen place, Shoyu Ramen Place. Asakusa is the birthplace of Shoyu Ramen. Um, the the first ramen shop that offered shoyu ramen is Rai Rai Ken and it's it's in ramen museum right now so if you want to go to ramen museum and you want to know how to get there watch my uh, Yokohama Tokyo oh no Yokohama guide in YouTube as well so you would know but this place is really charming you have a cute statue on top of the ramen place it's a really small place it's a Yoroiya uh, Yoriya ramen and they are popular for their uh, lucky eggs lucky because they have double egg yolks and uh, as well as uh, dumplings so if you love dumplings uh, if you love gyoza fried gyoza and uh, show you ramen this place is for you it's really it's a really cool place very authentic um, there's a lot of umami on with the that comes with the broth because soy sauce has a lot of umami and then you have this uh, slightly curly noodles that I love and uh, you also get umami from the seaweed and uh, it's a good it's a good spot to grab ramen it's a little salty because um, ramen is supposed to be salty anyway so just grab a beer and and uh, have uh, and uh, scream itadakimasu It was really good, I finished everything, and um, after this, we are going to be walking around Asakusa. There's really no right way of uh, eating everything in Asakusa. There's every I still have to find a really bad restaurant that offers food in Japan. Also, it's also a good idea to uh, explore. As you can see, this is very uh, crowded, and uh, if you are not a big fan of crowds, it's a better if you explore Sensoji Temple at night and it's so much nicer with the lighting and uh, you can also uh, see this place from uh, a rooftop the tourist rooftop I'll put it in the comment section below or I'll put it right here um, let me see I'll put it right here right here if you want to know where to get a nice view of Asakusa. After uh, exploring Asakusa, after exploring Sensoji Temple, we're gonna go to uh, Shin Nakamise Dori for shopping. And um, there's just a lot to buy in Asakusa. So the time stamp, the timed entry for Suzukian was in the afternoon and we're gonna... Uh, they are popular for the strongest matcha but they have uh, several kinds of matcha from least bitter to the very bitter and they also have really good uh, black sesame ice cream so you should try it as well. And uh, the ice cream that they have the texture is very much like a gelato it is very sticky it's the, it just sticks to your ribs very creamy this is Shinakamise Dori uh, shopping area and this is Yagenbori this is the main store Yagenbori has been here for maybe 400 years 
and uh, this shop invented Shichimito Garashi. Huh? What is this? Hops? Hemp? Hemp seeds? Hoppy? Hemp seed? And this one? And this one? Shichimi? Hot chili? Roasted? Orange peel and... So if you love uh, spicy or fragrant spices, you have several uh, different kinds of blend. And you can also um, tailor it to your liking. You can ask this very nice lady to help you uh, uh, mix it up a little bit. So if you like it more fragrant, you can ask for more uh, Satsuma orange peel. They make their uh, Shichimito Garashi with hemp seeds, uh, poppy seeds, uh, satsuma, orange peel, uh, chili powder, roasted chili powder, what else? Uh, black sesame seeds, there's seven of them. And different shops have their own blend, but this is the original one. And so far, it's really good. Actually, the Shogun, Tokugawa Iemitsu or something, the third Shogun, loves this uh, Shichimi Tagarashi so much he let them use the first uh, two characters of his name so a lot of the spice masters were named Toku the 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 the, the current one is uh, if I'm not mistaken Tokuaki so that's the current spice master and you can also stop by different shops like uh, there's this shop here in uh, Shin Nakamise Dori where they were advertising it as the best uh, chocolate pie and the best apple pie so if you really want to try that one you can try that one as well and um, a lot of shops in Asakusa and Shinakami Sadori you have uh, shoe, shoe places uh, Asakusa is also famous for traditional Japanese shoes and uh, they have secondhand stores for kimonos where you can get a kimono for around $20 so if you don't want to buy a brand new kimono for 200 you can buy one for tw around $20. And this is the night viewing of uh, Shinjuku Gyoen. We made a mistake of booking it during the weekend because every weekend, you know, a lot of the Japanese are off work and they're going to be in the same spots that you're going to visit. So if you're planning to visit a night viewing of uh, cherry blossoms in Japan make sure you schedule uh, during the weekdays instead of the weekends because a lot of the uh, the Japanese have their days off during the weekends and it's gonna be more crowded when when the the main residents of the country is also doing uh, touristing so we we end up because the place is too crowded we end up eating our picnic food in the hotel room and uh, this is the chomeji sakuramochi it's made of uh, salted uh, it's made of salted cherry cherry leaves it's really fragrant you're not supposed to eat the leaves but I tried I want to try the leaves and see what it tastes like it's salty and slightly bitter but it's very fragrant mm. and I love the 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 red bean paste inside it was really good it's it tasted like a 300 year old recipe it's really good and then the the apple pie uh, that was being marketed as the best apple pie in the world is actually one of the best apple pies I've ever had the the French mm. uh, puff pastry was very crunchy on the outside and the inside was filled with custard and uh, su sweet caramelized apples the chocolate pie is really good as well you can taste that you can definitely taste the Belgian chocolate in the chocolate pie and there's a little bit of a custard as well I, I think it's a it's a cream or custard but it was really good definitely try it but you know what you're not supposed don't try to you don't need to try whatever i tried whatever i eat in asakusa the best way to explore i think for me the best way to explore asakusa is to just try whatever you want 
there's no such thing as a bad restaurant in Japan.